I know many of you are restricting your carbs and working out more right now to lose weight. I often see comments that say I need to restrict carbs or I will gain weight, but you don't. And here we show you that's simply not true. I know you might not understand how this could be so, so you absolutely can lose weight with how restricting carbs and working out more. Today, I want to go over some key things you should know that are often overlooked and are really simple to start losing weight as a woman over 40. So today, we are going to dive into these five things. Number one, what functionality do the right carbs serve to help in weight loss? Number two, what happens when we restrict carbs after our 40s? And number three, how do the right fats work in fat loss and why are they different now after our 40s? Number four, why do we need protein for weight loss and hormonal balance? And number five, how working out more does not work right now and why? As you know, this channel is to make weight loss available to all women over 40. So a small thing you can do to support that mission is to hit that like button so we can reach more people and the algorithm to help just like you. And if this resonates with you, be sure to share this out with your family and friends. Tag me to let me know what your takeaways were from this video. And because you might wonder who I am, my name is Michelle Black. I'm the founder and CEO of a program, Registered Nurse and Nutritionist, that helps women over 40 lose weight as a lifestyle. Without restricting calories, carbs, or even diets using macronutrients. Number one, what do carbs actually do for our bodies? Why are they an important part of a woman's health, especially over 40? First off, we need to understand that there are different types of carbs. We are not talking about the simple carbs such as candy, white bread, white rice, and pastries. I'm talking about complex carbs like oatmeal, quinoa, potatoes, whole grains, and non starchy carbs like green beans, broccoli, corn, spinach, or asparagus, for example. Complex and non-starchy carbs actually play a significant role in the production of hormones, such as estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, luteinizing hormone, and follicle-stimulating hormones. They also help the body absorb protein. Right now, as a woman over 40, naturally our bodies are declining in these hormones. So we need to consume the right type of carbs even more than ever in order for our bodies to have the right hormonal balance, but help us feel good, suppress appetite, have a healthy metabolism, and sleep regulation by the hormones that they help produce. Number two, what happens when we restrict carbs to lose weight here after our 40s? Initially, you may lose weight, but that weight loss is water or muscle loss, and neither of these are good. And when carbs are restricted, the body becomes more carb and insulin resistant. And guess what happens next? The next time you decide you have some pasta or say some french fries, you will gain the weight back really quick due to the body becoming more carb and insulin resistant. The body has become conditioned that carbs are not eaten adequately. And therefore this causes a problem with your insulin regulation and ability for your body to be able to break down carbs. Is this resonating with you? If so, hit that like button right now. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. We want our insulin to recognize when it needs to transport glucose out of our bloodstream to be placed into our cells so that the glucose from the food that is broken down can be used as energy. Next, with the restriction of carbs, our bodies begin not producing hormones we need to feel good sleep good, and even metabolize our foods. Remember those hormones I mentioned? Estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and so on. The body needs the right carbs to help produce those hormones. So what happens is short-term carb restrictions will work, but then they result in carbon insulin resistance, and ultimately you result in a plateau when those hormones are no longer in balance, as they would be if you were consuming the right carbs. This is when no matter what you do, we're restricting the carbs and even working out, 
nothing happens. It's because the body does not have the proper nutrients to produce those hormones to help with weight loss. I've had clients come to me with their trainers or even a doctor restricting their carbs, a low maintenance calories, and carbs less than 25 grams a meal, who come to me with not just the frustration of a weight plateau, but brain fog, sugar cravings, trouble sleeping, and even lost their libido. We do not want to restrict carbs now. We want to learn how to balance those carbs in a meal. Big difference. Number three, how do the right fats work in fat loss now that we're over 40? Now let's talk about why the right fats are important for you now and why this matters now after your 40s for weight loss and health. Fats are one of the three macronutrients that are very important. Fats help the body absorb nutrients as well as help the body make steroid hormones like estrogen and testosterone. Remember, our bodies need these hormones for the body to lose fat. The body needs to be in balance in order to lose weight and keep it off. This is why diets don't work long term. Low fat diets are linked with breast cancer after menopause. Low fat would be considered less than seven grams of fat in a meal. We want to aim to consume enough fat in a meal, but really focus on the balance of that fat with a high nutrient carbohydrate and protein source. We want to aim to consume the right type of fats in each meal. There are different types of fats. So we're wanting to consume the high nutrient fats that are found in foods like olive oil, avocados, flaxseed, or chia seeds, for example. Number four, why do we need protein for weight loss and hormonal balance? Protein is one of the three macronutrients. Protein helps the body make up most of its hormones in addition with the other macronutrients, fats and carbs. Remember now our body's estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are declining. So we now need to focus on consuming protein as well. When adequate amounts of protein are consumed in each meal consistently, this helps control appetite, decrease or get rid of sugar cravings, boost energy levels, and reduce inflammation in the body. It's very important as a woman over 40 to consume the right type and amount of protein for your body in order for you to feel good and lose weight. You wanna aim for one gram of protein per desired body weight and if you're strength training, 1.66 grams for your desired body weight for proper hormonal balance for weight loss. What I found over the years with my clients is that restricting carbs does not work for weight loss to be sustained, but consuming the right macronutrients together, such as a high nutrient protein, carbohydrate, and fat for your body is key to keeping the weight off. And number five, and how working out more does not work right now and why. Let's talk about this. Back in our 20s or 30s, working out more would actually work for body fat loss. But now we have a whole nother thing happening in our bodies with hormones. And when we work out more, this can make the body more insulin resistant, which means your body will have trouble breaking down those high nutrient foods that you're consuming. It's very important to understand as a woman over 40, we now have a different rule book to play by if we want to keep the weight off. We want to limit our workouts to low to moderate workouts in short duration. Unless you're using additional supplementation to control the insulin and cortisol levels, and that can get really expensive. So how much weight do you actually want to lose and keep off this next year? What you will do is go online and find a macro tracking app calculator and figure out your maintenance calories and then start working from there with starting with adding the right type of proteins, carbs, and fats into each meal. I can't wait to hear what you get from this video. If you want to lose the weight and learn it as a lifestyle without dieting, I'd love to help. You can find my contact information down below to book a call with me. And be sure to check out this next video.